Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in again today. This time we're just doing an Eden run, but we started with a pretty interesting item here. This is the Fast Dice. Rep replicates the effects of the D6 with a 20% chance to duplicate an item in the room. Very interesting. Also got some camo undies. I quite like it. And we also got the frog puppet just in case we take fatal damage, which is kind of nice. Um, just, just as a, a nice addition. I actually think camo undies is going to be our best, uh, best item for a little while here. Very, very nice to have. An absolutely massive buff that it got. Speaking of uh, buffs and, and nerfs and all that sort of stuff, um, I'm actually using a new mod called Isaac Rebalanced. Oh, we got Junkin right off the bat as well. Um, yeah, so speaking of, uh, I'm using a new... Oh, I, I bungled up uh, using thingy there. Go, Junkin. Um, I'm using a new mod called Isaac Rebalanced, which does a lot. It, um, it rebalances a lot of the items in the game, as well as uh, ch changes some mechanics and actually adds some new mechanics. Um, it buffs a lot of the more boring items to be a bit more interesting, but also it does make some nerfs to some strong items, like Holy Mantle I saw got nerfed, Mega Mush got nerfed, uh, which might seem like crazy to some people, but I actually think like the, the nerfs and stuff sound pretty balanced and make sense for some items that are like crazily OP because even even after the nerf they're still good um so it's very interesting and yeah like it, it changes a few mechanics like for example one of my favorite changes which is kind of a pretty big nerf to the way the game normally works but I think it's really good is that um it makes it so that um oh god it makes it so that if you go into a library, even if there's four books, if you take one of them, the rest of them disappear. Which is how I've always thought libraries should work, and it makes no sense that they don't. So, kind of a nice change. I like it. Makes li libraries less of a guarantee to just give you bookworm. Hey, we get ourselves a bottle of shampoo here. Um, so yeah, I I'm quite I'm quite into that. And then also like giving bomb beggars a golden bomb or key beggars a golden key will like give guaranteed payouts. So some interesting stuff like that. I like it. By the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm coming in here to uh, bomb this because when you're using Junkin, you can bomb things you haven't purchased. <laughs> a little bit cheesy, but we want to get our boy big and strong as soon as possible because the sooner we get into max rank, the less we have to bomb things for him. So I'm gonna try and do that. ASAP. Either way, I'm pretty happy with how this first floor is going so far. It's pretty interesting. As for the question of the day today, what's something that you haven't done in a while that me talking about it is going to remind you to go and do? <laughs> what's something you that you enjoy that you haven't done in a while? For me, I, I mentioned it because earlier today I went out for uh, for dinner on my own. I, I very rarely do it, but I enjoy it when I do it. I know a lot of people don't like sort of going out for meals on their own, but I actually quite enjoy it on occasion. Um, and it had been a really long time since I'd done so, so I just went for a uh, a nice pizza. I put on a podcast. I've been listening to uh, this podcast, uh, literally by Rob Lowe. Ooh, very nice item there. Um, yeah, literally by Rob Lowe, where he just like interviews other celebrities. He was interviewing Matthew McConaughey, and it was really interesting. I mean, both people are like obviously huge celebrities in in film and TV, and so um, they have a lot to say and a lot of uh, life experience. So it was kind of interesting to listen to. And I just listened to that. While I was on my own, having a nice little pizza. I had some arancini as well, which arancini is absolutely lovely. It was it was an absolutely pleasant that time. And I also had some strawberry lemonade on the side as well with it, which was, yeah, very, very nice. Just had a had a good little time. Had a good little time. But yeah, as, as, as sort of a secondary question of the day, if you go, go and check this rebalanced mod, what's, what's some things in there... Uh, mechanics that, or items that you'd like to see rebalanced in Isaac? What's some, some buffs on nerfs that you could see being appropriate? I would like to get another key to get in here, but it might not happen. Ah, oh, I buggered up. I always do that. If you walk into a room holding fire with camo undies, it doesn't trigger the damage bonus. And I always forget that because I always walk into rooms while holding the damage button, on uh, the fire button. And it, it screws me. Look, I didn't need it. Wrapped candy. Damage and speed. Every 15 seconds. Nice. Uh, we're not going to go Devil Deal because we can't afford to right now. We'll see if we can go Secret Room here, though. Where art thou, Secret Room? I'm actually not entirely sure. Um, it's kind of a tricky one. I'm guessing it's up from here. Yeah, this would make the most sense. It's not there? Hmm... Could be there. Can't be here, I don't think. No. Hmm. This is tricky, so I'm going to go here. There, there you go. 
And then I'll pop that in the hope so we get a key here. Oh! We did get an item, but it bombed straight through and actually bombed the item for us, so... I, that would have been super devastating if that was, like, rock bottom in there, which I know is in the uh, rock stone chest pool. I imagine how devastated we'd be right now. Either way, we'll move to the next floor. Um, do you know what? Let's... Oh, no, we don't have a key. <laughs> Let's not go, mother. By the way, someone did ask why I don't fight some of the alternate bosses, like Hush. Um... And it's mainly because I find Hush to just be boring. <laughs> like, no one's made a, made a remake for Hush yet. Um, like, the first phase has been redone, like, changed. But the second phase is still exactly the same. And Hush is just boring to fight and thus boring to watch, in my opinion. I just, I'm not super intrigued by fighting Hush at all. Obviously, the extra items can spice up your run a little bit and, and make some interesting things happen. But... At the end of the day, it's only two items, maybe three if you um, if you get a decent shop and have the money to make it work. But overall, I just don't think it's really that worthwhile going for. Um, and I, I just think it's a lot of time spent for something that honestly isn't a super enjoyable watch. So that, that that's kind of why for anyone that's been wondering. 3% um, chance of pick up rocks and poops to become their golden version. Ooh, I'm going to take that. The, the, the revive there is nice, but this is better. Thank you, Junkin. Extra bomb there, lovely. Looking for more opportunities to use my dice, but honestly, I've been getting good items from our item room so far. So let's let's do a reroll here, because we don't know what it is, and we could duplicate it. There's a chance. Do you know what? We didn't duplicate it, but we did get an item that I'm very fond of. The ability to see one room ahead on the map, I actually really, really, really like. Uh, obviously, seeing secret rooms as well is important, but the I actually think that the better part of it is being able to see one room ahead on the map. It prevents you from going down so many wrong paths. I think that's quite valuable. Game's really giving me some beautiful stuff right now, but I'm still going to stick with this trinket because I think it's potentially more fun. Um, getting more golden stuff could be interesting. And there's our secret room here. This is all I was really looking for to cap it off. Lovely stuff. An extra bomb there is really nice because we can go and bomb through that bad boy. Only one soul heart, but it's the thought that counts. Now, I'm going to go back through this way and check out what our um, mob trap room is. You never quite know what it could be. But yeah, I, I do like mods that, that aim to like rebalance stuff. Especially there's, there's... I understand that bad items are bad for a reason, but... Making making it so that bad items aren't useless is a good idea. Like, eat, just because they're bad doesn't mean they shouldn't be fun. Or doesn't mean they shouldn't have any use at all. For example, one of the rebalances I saw is uh, Teleporter. Teleporter is an item that literally no one ever has used in their entire life. It's garbage. But now, it's still garbage, but not quite so. Now, the way that it works is that... Um, if you are walking in a direction, it will favor a teleportation in that direction. So you can somewhat influence where you teleport. Um, ooh, we got an item here. I was going to bomb this, but now I'm going to buy it. Oh, it's Greed's Butt as well. Holy. Greed's Butt is insane. It's basically just... Um, it's, it's it's a better Little Dumpy that it takes longer to charge. Little Dumpy recharges very, very quickly. This recharges slowly, but it blocks all damage. So, it's, 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 pretty, it's pretty darn good. I'll tell you that. It's pretty darn good. I quite like it. But yes, I'm hoping we can see our Junkin' Boy grow big and strong and become the true champion of our run. Do you know what? Oh, we don't even have a bomb, so I'm, 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 I'm going to re-roll this. Hey, we got the duplication. Hey! <laughs> uh, we finally got the duplication, and it duplicated Mum's underwear of all things. Why? That is some depressing-ass depression right there. Not a fan of that in any way, shape, or form. Right, gribbity grab that. Gribbity grab that. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be pretty hard to kill on this run at the moment with the uh, the situation that we've got set up, which is 
pretty nice. And yeah, I'm really happy to see that our, our dice actually did pay out. I was worried when I started with this dice. I was like, ooh, this seems like an interesting start. This is a cool item. And I was like, you watch. I'm going to play the whole run, and it's not going to trigger the duplication once. So at least it has now triggered the duplication at least once. The only problem is it, it duplicated an item that, while did actually work when duplicated, didn't do anything for us. <laughs> Just a little bit more range isn't really what I was uh, what I was striving for, I've got to say. Ooh, golden bomb. Give us a bomb beggar now, because then he'll give us a guaranteed uh, guaranteed payout item, which I think is really cool. No! How dare you, Junkin? You stole my small rock from me. You little fuck. Okay, you can have that. Oh, no, no. Okay, that was that was okay. I, I made a big mistake there by re-rolling after the fact, but it worked out. I wasn't that interested in the HP, but I imagine that I'd have re-rolled into, like, Holy Mantle or something. But, yeah, from what I know, Holy Mantle, the way that that's changed... Dude, this trinket's amazing. Um, The way that the uh, Holy Mantle has been nerfed is that now... To recharge your holy mantle, you have to complete a combat room. So before, you just walked into a room, walked out of a room, then walked straight back in. Dude, this trinket is wild. Um, oh no, the one makes you larger. It's happening again. Um, but yeah, I think it makes way more sense. As a, as a nerf, but still making it very, very good to me, mean you have to complete a combat room. It does mean no more free curse rooms, though, I think. So all that range that we got is gone. Oh no, there we go. We got some back. Balls of steel. Hey, it's gone. Okay. That lasted quite some time there. Oh, we got a... Are oh, you a wizard? I didn't even realize. I did not see that in there. Makes our life slightly more complicated for a little while here. But don't worry. It's not like we can get hit easily. We have greeds, but... Greed's butt protects all. Yeah, there you go. Like, see what it does there? You get farts and then it spins around you. And then we've got a. I think we've got to pick up four or five coins to recharge it. Which is potentially kind of difficult. It depends on the room. Hey, we got two EP sleepies. We can pair these guys out at once. Well, that guy paired out literally straight away. That's kind of crazy. One second. Right, let's continue on with this room. We got ourselves Blanket here, which was pretty goddamn good and very early to get. Ooh, and Nightlight. Okay, I actually quite like these beggars. The theming on them is uh, is appropriate, I have to say. The theming is appropriate. Uh, do I want to bother doing the, the Ferryman? I think I do. Ooh, hello. Ah, that's, that's actually not that good for us. Excuse me. Yeah, there you go. I'm excited activated the moment I touched him then. Oh, I actually genuinely thought he was going to run me into the fire then. Thank God he didn't. But yeah, these fragments can be pretty goddamn strong. I actually think with uh, with camo undies, it might be even easier than normal because I can work out exactly where the ghost is going to be and what I need to do for a hot second, which is not normally something that you have the ability to do. So I'm quite happy with that. Okay. I'm not guaranteed to get an item here, but I am hoping for the best. Ooh. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> Thank you, Ghosty. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, we got the ghost. Just take out this guy and we're, we're, we're in the clear. We're in the clear. Beautiful. You get so many consumables out of doing this. I think it's still really very overpowered. It should cost 20, not 10 in my opinion. Especially considering you get the chance for an item on top of everything else. It's kind of wild. Uh, we got more portals. Oh, God. Okay. This is uh, a little harder than I expected because there's more portals than I expected. And it's not dying. There you go. We got it in the end. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're golden. Beautiful stuff. And away we go. Right. Okay, what item are we going to get? And will we want to re-roll it, baby? Will we want to re- I actually think I might re-roll that. One burn heart taking damage has a chance to fire a red projectile in a circle around you. Projectile returns to the sender um, and... Now, uh, destroyed only on contact with what fired them. Yeah, I'm definitely going to reroll that. And we get double, baby! Unfortunately, actually, this one might work as a double. Remembrance of the Forgotten's a pretty good item. I don't know if it'll work as doubled. What this does is it places... Oh, it crashed that game. <laughs> one second. Okay, we are back here again. The game did crash and crashed again. So things are slightly different, but I've come back to this spot here with these two fellas. And... 
weirdly enough, didn't get the same items, but I will take Binky. I'm going to leave that one there for potential re-rolling, and we'll play through this again and see how this goes. Do you want to give me some of your uh, patronage here, my guy? And hopefully this won't crash again. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Uh, but we'll see if we can do it again. I did have to re-level Junkin as well, because I'm reloading the game. He'd gone back to level zero, which was slightly upsetting to see. Okay, good. It's the same rooms here, which is nice. We've still got our golden bombs, so we ought to be doing this. And amazingly, we get ourselves our golden pennies as well. I like that. I like that a lot. Lots of money to be had there. Ooh, what is this? Um, spawns white poops around the player. Ooh, that seems useful. That's this again. I really hate the fact there's a rock there, but it's not too bad, actually. Not too bad. So I don't know if we'll get the same item from this, mind you. I don't know if we'll get the Remembrance of the Forgotten again here, which is a little upsetting if we don't, but we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. The reroll may not be the same. Some some things are like pre-coded in Isaac modding. Some things aren't. It's weird. Right, remember there's four portals now. Good, good, good. We're able to deal with that one perfectly fine, and that one as well. No, no, oh, that was very, very close. He launched at me at very high velocity there. Right, let's see what we get this time, shall we? We did get the same one. Is it going to re-roll the same? It is. Okay, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Right, I'm just going to quickly do an exit and resume, which sometimes can bug things out, but it will save our progress where we are, so if I crash again, it won't reset everything, which is nice to have. Um, although if it does crash, we're stuck. <laughs> so, bit of this, bit of that, I guess. Bit of this, bit of that. But there you go, we're through. Okay, let's let's try re-rolling this item now. We've got... Um... Thank you. We do actually have some re-rolls back over here. I'm very interested to see if the Remnant of the Forgotten works twice. If it gives us two skulls, I'm interested to know. Gorgon, very, very nice. What I was going to say is Remembrance of the Forgotten spawns a little skull in the room, and if you touch it, you get like a little uh, familiar that shoots your tears. It's very good. And if it works twice, then even better. Uh, but let's go straight for the boss here. I want to see how this works. Okay, they are not white poops. That was stone poops. Is that what it actually said? I don't, I don't remember. But it, we do get two skulls, look. Oh, very, very nice. Look at that. Triple shot, baby. Okay, so having two of those is quite nice. And we do get an angel deal here, and we get a pretty goddamn good one. We get the angel wings, which is very, very nice. On double tapping, we get different effects, and we get piercing feathers as our tears. Very, very nice indeed. And we'll uh, we'll re-roll this. Yeah, I do like the piercing here. But yeah, we grab one skull, two skull, and now we've got triple shot going on, but with no fire rate down, which is rather nice. Um, and then we can re-roll that. Into Urn of Souls, unfortunately. Not super interested in Urn of Souls. Thank you very much. Um, ooh, Hollow Heart is kind of nice for a little bit, though. We'll jump down to the next floor. Okay, I'm liking where we're at. I'm liking where we're at. Slightly annoying that we got a few crashes that last floor, but that do be Isaac modding sometimes. It's not always that way, but it is sometimes. Beautiful. We do have a library back here. We'll actually be able to see the functionality of how libraries work now. I'll show that off a little bit here, depending on how many books we've got. So here we've got three books. Normally, this would be guarantee, by the way, Hedon is cookbook here, very good. This would be a guarantee of getting um, yourself bookworm. But now, you get the one book. And I'll be honest, that's how libraries should work. And if any of you disagree, it's because you're salty that it's a nerf. The fact that most library layouts are just guaranteed to give you bookworm is silly. It's a transformation. It shouldn't be that easy to get. Transformation should be should be, like, by getting lucky in the run and getting three of a similar type of item. Not just you walk into one room. Imagine if there was a Devil Deal layout that was just guaranteed to give you Guppy. It'd be silly. Obviously, I know that Guppy is a lot, lot stronger, so comparatively, it's not as big of a deal. But still, you get my point, right? You get my point. It's a little silly that uh, the way that they work in vanilla, um, like, allowed you to so easily abuse um, the ability to get a transformation. I won't say abuse, but you know what I mean. I thought it was a little bit silly. Ooh, this with piercing is very, very nice here. Our item room here. Boom. By that beam. We get an item I don't particularly want. And we get God's Flesh, which I don't particularly want either. Although, God's Flesh... God's Flesh got a huge buff. 
So do you know what? I'm going to take it. God's flesh, shrunken enemies can now no longer trigger on death effects. That's one of the rebalances from this Isaac rebalance mod. Possibly one of the best things I've ever heard. Like, shrunken enemies are so useless normally because they still have their on death effects. So having them removed is amazing. Uh, I think we're just going to go straight for the boss here. Beautiful. Ah, I missed. But I have my ghosties backing me up. And we got Sir Junkin here as well. Sir Junkin, I like it. Very, very nice here. And I will pop into this devil deal. Uh, ooh, Kapala, I'll definitely grab. And then this I'll bomb. Kapala is insane. All enemies of the same type take damage at the same time. Which means that most rooms that use that mechanic of having multiple of the same enemy get absolutely destroyed, which is actually most rooms. <laughs> That's just what most rooms are like. Oh, hello. I like this. Actually, I probably want to drop my hollow heart now, by the way. I don't want to overthrow everything with burn hearts. Ghost bombs. Don't mind if I do. Uh, teleport to an extra boss with a vanishing twin. I will do that indeed. Well, that one didn't have a vanishing twin. It also, unfortunately, was an item we can't grab. And on top of that... Oh, the vanishing twin just didn't trigger for some reason. It's there, but it didn't trigger. Weird. Um, yeah, I don't want that. Thank you. Stop picking it up. Mini boss here. Ooh, apple. Give me that apple. Apple, apple of pride for a bunch of extra stats for a little bit here. Don't mind if I do. Soul heart there that we don't need. Ooh, hello. Takes away half of your keys rounded down. Enemies will drop random key pickups on death for 20 seconds. Ooh. Wow, that's a really cool idea. Do I want to play you? I, I guess why not? Oh, wow. That was, a, that was a quick payout. So, yeah, do this and then... Okay. Okay, that's that's broken. We've got 20 seconds of this, so let's make the most of it. You'll lose half your keys, but if you've got low amount of keys, you are getting a lot of keys out of this. A lot and a lot of keys. Oh, my God. Okay, that was... I like it. That was pretty awesome. Reroll. Wait, did we forget to re-roll the, uh... Oh, no, we, we ended up taking uh, God's Flesh, didn't we? Because it got changed. I thought we left something behind there, but I don't think we have. So our bombs will sometimes spawn locusts. I think enemies will also sometimes spawn locusts on death now. Pretty good item. Pretty, pretty good. Heading to here. Got some locusts, baby. These are both really good, and they're very heavily discounted for a reason I'm not entirely sure of right now. Um, I'm going to take one of them. I'll bomb the other, because I want my Junkin boy to be big and strong, and he's one item. One item. Away. Ooh. I don't even know how this works with you, but I'm going to pay, pay into you anyways. And it's an item we can't pick up, because I'm using this active. So there you go. Junkin, you have been... Made whole. You are the god that you should be, once again. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Good, good. Okay, we're near the boss as well here. Yeah, there you go. Junkin's doing his thing. I don't know if Junkin adopts piercing off of us. Probably not right, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. That was some chunky damage right there. We even made it to boss rush. Uh, perfection we'll definitely take. And we'll grab that real quick as well. Um, and then here, I think I'm just going to reroll all of them and see if any duplicate. Well, that that didn't do what I thought it would do. Uh, plus five bombs. Heal half a heart when enemy when an enemy hit when an enemy hit by an ex bomb explosion. When an enemy is hit by a bomb explosion. I guess that means. Potentially useful. Um, yeah, I don't really know what happened over here. I'm going to take pentacles here and... 
Ah, oh, I lost perfection immediately because I forgot I had it. I'll take that as well. Why not? And I get this too. Okay, I got three items there for some reason. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, losing perfection straight away there was kind of a an oopsie oopsie goofball moment. By the way, these skulls where I've got these little two extra fellas will like time out and I'll have to go and repick the skulls up again, as you just saw there, look. But we can repick them up very, very easily, so we'll, we'll pretty much have these guys by our side most of the time here. You got Herming, but I don't give a damn. Should last about two, three waves each time, I think. Probably three. Beautiful. It's easy to pick them back up as well because you can. it kind of trails you in the direction of which way to go. And as you can see, it's helping us out quite a major amount. Okay, we've got them both. Get out from under the ground, you coward. I froze him in midair. Wasn't my intention, but I'll take it. He actually has a lot of health, goddamn. And then we got Chubb over here doing his thing. I've managed to pause him in him mid him in midair as well. Wow, I'm speaking too fast. H how are you so tanky, my guy? Okay, we got these guys herming again. I do not want to have to deal with them. I really wish that the um the, the different fire firing types that you get with the angel's feathers, one of them wasn't just spawning a little ghosty boy. It feels so much weaker than the other versions that you can fire. Like, laser beam. Beautiful. And then sometimes you'll just fire a wee little baby that does basically nothing. Fortunately, we have to fight this dingus. One of my least favorite bosses in any game ever. <laughs> so this guy's awful. Well, luckily, we don't have to deal with him for long. Your bike's already gone, love. You ain't doing out with that. Oh, man, the brimstone's so huge. I love it. There's our other ghosty boy. Okay, we've probably only got three waves left, I reckon. We've managed to speed our way through this pretty darn quickly. I do like a bit of speed. I'll, I'll give you a bomb. Wasn't necessary, but it gives us some locusts nonetheless, so why not? We're getting a lot of soul hearts here. Managed to get a lot of our health that we've lost back. I'm gonna throw a bomb on you two. Might as well considering bombs healers now. Not that we need the healing, but still. And last few. Ooh, well, some, something hit me there, and I'm not quite sure what. Last wave, last wave, last wave. By the way, I, I do realize there is a wave counter mod, but I actually like be, like guessing and trying to remember when you're on the last wave. Or like when you're getting near to the end. Ah, I wasn't quite right. Maybe maybe this is the last one. I don't know, I'm, 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 I feel like I'm way off. Come on, little Junkin, you can do it for me. You can do it, my boy. Oh, this guy's been a pain. You can get a bomb on you. Didn't do much, but it did something. Some of the bosses just seem to have a ton more health. Or like they're immune to my angel feathers. Hey, there you go. Unfortunately, not a great item. Hold up. Where's my active gone? When did I lose my active? Hold up. Okay, I just went and had a look. That was actually in part of the description. I had a 25% chance to reroll fi in five quick successions and then disappear, and a 25% chance to reappear on the next floor. And there you go. It's back, baby. Yeah, so as you can see here, um, duplicate an item in the room. Chance for five rerolls to happen in quick succession, then di dice disappears. 25% chance to reappear on the next floor if disappeared. So we got pretty lucky there uh, that we got it back. But that, yeah, that, that wasn't something I was expecting. I was like, where the hell did it go? It hadn't done that the entire time thus far. I think we've just gotten really lucky. I'm just remembering now that we've got the Kapala. So we're going to be decimating these floors. Like, we only have to fight one of each enemy. <laughs> 
There you go, all three of them die. Life is much simpler in this regard. A lot of rooms become a lot easier. As you can clearly see here. Not all of them, mind you. Obviously this one. Bit of variation. But these bigger rooms like this often are just full of the exact same enemy type. And Kapala just makes these rooms an absolute jerk. So we get a nice reprieve from some of these. Unfortunately, we've gone the wrong way here. Spelunker's hat being an absolute G to us, letting us know we went the wrong way. I love it. It saves you so much time having Spelunker's hat and knowing when there's a dead end. I think that's such a massive advantage. Even, even bosses like this look taking damage at the same time. Awesome. Absolutely love it. Crack into through here. Not much to see. I'll pick up these two hearts at least. Why not? And I'll crack this open. Why not? Hey, Wonder Waffle. Killing champions uh, grants a random stat up. Okay, I'm glad I got that. Wonder Waffle seems pretty good. I wonder if Wonder Waffle's a reference to um, Call of Duty. Because everyone used to call the Wonder Waffle the Wonder Waffle in that game. In, in Zombies. Goddamn, back in the day. Going around to a friend's house and playing Call of Duty Zombies all night. Those were the days, boys. Those were the days. Right, let's go get our remembrances over here. Goddamn, Skolex do be lagging. Skolex do be lagging. Uh, what, what keeps freezing them? I keep getting the freeze effects on enemies, but I don't know really what's causing it. Definitely be re-rolling that, and we get ourselves this, which is unfortunately not very good for us, because it's not good, gonna gulp anything, but hey her. Right, again, we kind of know which way to go here. Ow! Explosion, excuse me. Ah, Sabenya! Ah, wrong way again. I gotta love it. It helps me so much. Oh, but do you know what doesn't help me? Constantly getting hit by stupid stuff. I don't even need money anymore. I just kind of want it to see the golden pennies appear because the golden pennies seem hella... It's kind of funny that like this, this trinket that we've got going on, which has been gulped for a while now, apparently. I didn't even know when it got gulped. But anyways, uh, this trinket... 3% chance to make anything gold. We'll turn rocks gold, which in turn gives us money, which in turn gives us golden pennies. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's great. Greedbutt's helping us out there. I kind of forgot we had that for a little while, to be honest. We got it. It's helping us out. Try and crack these open. Yeah, we've, 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 we've refilled it now. We're good to go again. I guess I'll take this. I'm blowing up a lot of rocks. Not that I need the money for much at all, but why not? Okay. Swiftly. Oh, no. Lasers. Ooh, I love getting one of these shops late in the game. And it gives us Able, which re-rolls into 2020. You see? You see? Oh, and there's another one. How about we do that again? Do you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re-roll again and see what we get. Spawn three to four random coins upon de defeating bosses. This, this item's insane, by the way. Absolutely insane. If you get, like, pin... You get so much money. Not that we, like I said, not that we need the money anymore, so it's not, like, that good. But, like, as an item, especially if you get it early on, it's it's wild. I keep hurting myself. Do I have explosive shots or something? Oh, I think it's my locusts, isn't it? It's my goddamn locusts. I'm stupid. Just because it's hard for them to hurt you nowadays doesn't mean it's impossible. Grab my remembrances. And yeah. <laughs> if I grab my remembrances, I just decimate. See, look at that. Look at that. She's got 25 cent for killing a boss. It's wild. Um, and we get two pretty good items here, actually. I'm going to take both of these, I think. Boiling blood is going to be damage per half red heart held. Um, actually, I'm not going to take that now because I just don't need it. Camping conception. Yeah, I don't have enough red hearts to make that truly work, so I'm not going to bother with it. We've already lowered our health quite a bit anyways. Boiling Blood is good, though. It's a, it's a pretty interesting item if you can play to its strengths. But I am not in a situation to play to its strengths right now, so it's not super worthwhile for me to grab. My other Remembrance is uh, stuck. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. And we did actually get an item. This is going to give us seven damage and then double it. <laughs> Still bugged. It's supposed to set your damage to seven, but it sets it to seven. And you walk out and it doubles. It, well, it gives you seven. You walk out and it doubles it to 14. It's, it's a weird item, man. It's a weird item. It's still a bit broken. I don't mind it. But yeah, would you guys like to see... Uh, those of you that watch this far in, would you guys like to see... Um, like a showcase of this rebalance mod? Where I just start a run with a bunch of the different things that have been changed and rebalanced. And we just check them out. In terms of items that have been buffed and stuff. Because I think there's some weaker items that could be kind of fun to play around with. Out of the buffed ones. Some that have uh, changed quite a bit. I think that'd be kind of cool. Okay. I don't know why I came in here. I knew it was a dead end. But something called to me. And I felt the need. Gotta remember to fill up my butt. There you go. Butt is easily filled when there's a coin like that going on. My Gorgon made that seem really, like, impossible to get in there without a bomb, then. <laughs> he was blocking the, uh, the doorway. Uh, I'm gonna go this way first, I think. Yeah, I think I'm right in this. Ooh, bit of range up. Beautiful. Exactly what we need right now. Dude. Kapala. You're insane. Look at this. Look at this. Look how much money is this dude. Just, oh my lord, it's wild. <laughs> Walking to the spikes. Okay, got all my remembrances. This should decimate him, hopefully. Easy. Yeah, another golden penny shenanigan. Just, yeah, money's not a problem at all anymore. Not that we need it, like I said, but health is a problem. We've not got a lot of health. <laughs> oh, my lord. No fire rate penalty with 2020. Booyah, baby. Tears have a chance to wax enemies. Wax enemies freeze and burn. Yep, we'll take that and we'll reroll these two. Fire mine and current head. I'll take. Wow, this has been quite something. This has been quite something. If only we had more uses for money. But dude, it's a lot of damage. But yeah, even I think one of the other items that got a pretty heavy nerf is Ipecac. Ipecac no longer gives you plus 40 damage. It gives you a 2 times damage multiplier and plus 4 damage. So it doesn't give you anywhere near as much damage, but you still obviously have explosive shots. Which I think is fair. Also, the 2 times damage multiplier could end up being better overall. I don't know what's going on in this room. There's a lot of fire in here, though. There's a lot of golden poops. Oh, dude. This golden trinket's amazing. I quite love it. Look at the amount of coins. This item's absurd. Let's make sure to grab our remembrances when we enter here. There's one. There's two. That's a big brimstone, baby. That's a big brimstone. Oh, look at that. Ain't much you can do about that sunshine. <laughs> On to the next phase straight away. Also, this wax thing leaving these fires behind is pretty good. beautiful. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Quite a lot of fun I had here. The fast dice is amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.